That looks awesome. That stimulates me and my, my brain, my ADHD a lot. I think that looks fantastic. That's it on my big screen right there. Put this down. This is the Hi-Fi Man HE6 SE. It's not a new set. I'm taking the drivers, which is this right here, and everything else is gone. Changing the pads, changing the cable, might eventually change this outer shell. Already changed the cover over the driver, the yoke, the suspension system, the headband, it's all all being changed. Let me give you a, a quick tip. This is a short video. You'll go a long way in this hobby and save a lot of money if you know the right questions to ask and who to ask those questions to. Does that make sense? I hope it does because I, that'll save you a lot of money. If it exists, you'll find it quicker. Endgame, it sounds like, you know, uh, like a joke. I'm not an addict. I never gamble on sports. I don't... Any substances that I've enjoyed in my past, I got over quickly because I just decided it wasn't mm, profitable to my life to continue, so I stopped. Well, whatever it is. So... I'm not addicted to like headphones and earphones. I, I'm a, I do it because it's a fun hobby. The Unique Melody MEST JP version, that's the CIM, as soon as I put it in my ear and I listened to a couple songs, it was like being amongst musicians listening to music. And I'd never had that mm, sensation with any other in-ear monitors ever. Not even close. It was the new level. And I knew right away. They're, they're, you're not going to get better than that because it sounds like I don't have anything in my ear or on my head. It just sounds like being there. That is the reference. Can you understand? So I found it. Went ahead and got the custom IEM version. And I'm done. I just do reviews for IEMs now. And if I think they're really good, I'll compare it to that. But that's my end game. So doing it with headphones, I decided I need to find a couple people. It turned out to be a few. And I got to ask some questions, and I it was like a ball of clay, and I started to be a little more specific. And people said, "Do you are you okay with EQ?" No, nope, I'm not. There's got to be a set of headphones out there that'll do what I want. I got passed to somebody else, and he said, "Have you ever looked at this thing?" And he he showed me a picture, and I think it was something kind of like this, his, which I'd seen pri previously and looked and thought that looks boss, that looks really cool. And then moved along like I was because I wasn't into headphones at the time. And then he showed me a picture of his and I was like, that's yours? And his name's Android. And he hooked me up with the, the idea of the changing the honeycomb from this, which is stock. It's like the first thing that I did. And also he's doing other stuff to his. And I wanted the audio with less treble because that sounds like being on ecstasy at a concert. Mm, euphoric but slightly unnatural and then fatiguing after a period of time I, that's not end game for me but it's not that far off so calm that down and I also on bass it sounds a little mm, more authentic to me and it turns out that this is the set that graphs in that way and to my ear so far listening to it briefly looks like it's hitting it right on the money so I'm now enthusiastically on my way to gutting the whole thing except the drivers and turning it into my end game. And then when I'm done doing so, I'll have links to all of the things to purchase if you are into doing that. If you just want to buy a box, open it up, take the things out, put a little bit of EQ into 55 hertz with a PEQ, and then go, cool. I'm, that's I got lots of stuff that I'll be re doing reviews for, and maybe you can ask me and I'll wreck and we'll go go play the whole game. I would actually prefer uh, not to do any EQ and just put it on my head and give it enough power and let it do its job. And I'm going to enjoy doing that process. So that's what I'm going to be doing. The foundation is the HE6SE. You don't need to spend the money that some places ask for this. I got these for $699 from Adorama, but you need to do a special code. I can hook you up with that. Maybe not right now, but... That's another topic. Um, so if anybody has an amp rec for me, something that maybe would fit into this area, I would put it maybe on top, under, or next to the ADI-2 deck. Something that doesn't spout off a ton of heat and bring up the ambient temperature of the room by 5 degrees Fahrenheit just by turning it on would be cool. Because um, that's all I need. Everything else would be step by step. 
waiting for it to come in by mail. And in the meantime, power, which I've got in another amp DAC, but it's kind of big. I'd like something a little bit small. Low, low profile, high power, um, not coloration. You know what I'm saying? Like, not something too warm, not something too clinical, analytical, just something that hits just right. So hopefully that question is being specific. I want something that's... I guess the ADI 2 DAC doesn't really do anything except is clean. So I guess I'm looking for something like that with more power and doesn't blow a hole into PayPal. I will, but eh, if I could not, that would be cool too. So that's it for today. I got a review for the Utopia by uh, Focal coming up, and I got a bunch of IMs coming up. Um, and check out Twitter because that usually has a preview of what's coming up on this channel. So that's it. This is the journey to build the ultimate endgame headphones step by step. Critical piece is the transducers, and I got them, and they're right here. And the other pieces I will patiently wait for. And suggestions or ideas for modifications, let me know. I'm not looking for anything to mod the sound, just boss looks. And I'm out.